Congressman. Uh, this is a group of uh, Congressmen, seven of us, that have come to the border to take a look at the conditions down here at the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, most of us are physicians, and uh, we're here just today to, to visit, and I want to go around and introduce each one. Ladies, each want to introduce themselves and tell them about their experience today. It really was very eye-opening for me, personally. Mr. Arrington. Jody Arrington from West Texas, Congressional District 19. I'm honored to join my colleagues and friends here in the Rio Grande Valley sector. Uh, the most active part of uh, uh, the, the fight against this uh, open border situation that we have and the fight to provide humanitarian aid and assistance to folks uh, who've come here and made the dangerous trek uh, to come here with their families, many of them. I think at this point, we're seeing more families here uh, than individuals. And, um, you know, my takeaway is that the good people of the uh, Department of Homeland Security and certainly the Border Patrol agents are doing everything they can with what they have, but they're overwhelmed. And uh, half of them are taking, uh, the Border Patrol agents are leaving their jobs uh, to secure the border and enforce the law to provide humanitarian aid. And so uh, there's just a ripple effect uh, from just being so uh, overrun and overwhelmed. And, and, and one of the takeaways for me is while they have a good attitude, I think it's discouraging to know that the root causes are not being dealt with, uh, that the, the loopholes, uh, the, the magnets that are, that are bringing people here and the lack of border security. Um, and these are, these are issues that every member of Congress, Republican or Democrat, are well aware of and uh, it's really about the political will to do something about it. I know these gentlemen are committed, um, um, but I'm concerned that uh, the Nancy Pelosi-led House is not committed to it. The only bill that, that they've passed, that the Democrat leadership has passed, is a bill to grant amnesty to folks who are here illegally, instead of working to put American people first, our citizens, to provide security and make sure that we treat people humanely with respect and dignity consistent with American values when they're here. And I'm telling you, these folks are doing everything they can, uh, but we've got to stop the root cause of this illegal immigration. But I'm honored to be here with my colleagues. Yeah, Brad Winster from Ohio. And I think what I've taken away from this trip today is that we have seen many great Americans from Border Patrol, Homeland Security, that are doing work beyond what they would be expected to do. And, and the art of taking care of people and the art of taking and making sure that this country is safe and, and weeding through the dangers and taking care of those that are in need. And they're short on supply, they're short on personnel, but they're doing a phenomenal job in taking care of those that are sick and those that need care and keeping people healthy as they go through this process, a process that is overwhelming our border right now. Neil Dunn, Florida's second congressional district. You know, President Trump said that there is a humanitarian crisis down here on the border, and he said it for over a year now. Finally, I think we can all appreciate he's absolutely correct. There is a crisis down here. And the Border Patrol and the ICE agents, they are doing heroic efforts down here to keep these refugees safe and healthy against the long odds and with very short supplies. I've been utterly convinced this all doctors totally convinced these people are doing the very best medical care that they can do far beyond what they can do with the, with the support that we give them and the best medical care these refugees have ever had in their life. Roger Marshall from Kansas. I had the honor to come to this border a year ago. It was a crisis then and it's multiples worse now and would agree with the, uh, the fellow uh, doctors up here that we're doing everything we can. Our Border Patrol is doing everything they, they can to give the very best of care to everybody. And the President is right, Neil, that if we don't build the wall, if we don't secure the border, this, this flood uh, is just going to continue and get worse. Uh, above all, I learned how important security is. Border security is our country's biggest national th security threat. My, my takeaway today was as we were standing at the border, group of two separate groups, total 15 people walked up while we were there. And we had a chance to talk to these people. They were tired and exhausted. They were not afraid. They were actually relieved to be there. And I, I watched these Border Patrol agents walk up to these folks and, and reach out a hand to them, help them, put them on a bus. We then met the same people as we went through a facility where they're classified just a, an hour or so later they were being fed and taken care of. That's what Americans do, and we do it better than anybody in the world. 
I'm Buddy Carter, a pharmacist from Georgia. This is my second trip down to McAllen, and I can tell you it has gotten worse since the last time I was here. This is a crisis. There's no question about it. The president is spot on when he is talking about what's going on down here. I could not have been more impressed with the professionalism that's been exhibited by all of the Department of Homeland Security officials who are here and all the the people who are working down here. Let me tell you, particularly when it comes to health care and particularly when it comes to health care for the children, many of these children, most of these children, if not all of these children, are getting the best health care they've ever had in their life. I'm very proud of what we're doing down here. We've got to do something about it, though. We've got to secure our borders. That's the number one thing that we've got to do. We all understand that means, yes, a combination of things, building a wall, boots on the ground, technology, all those things go into securing our borders. But until we do that, Everything else is just is just secondhand. Yes, we've got a lot of asylum laws that we need to fix, a lot of loopholes that we need to close. But again, I can't stress enough just how impressed I've been with all of the all of those who are working down here in a most stressful situation under under circumstances they should not be under, but doing just an outstanding job. This is far from a concentration camp. No comparison whatsoever. I don't know how anyone could ever say that. Mike Burgess, I represent a district in North Texas. This is my 10th trip here in the last five years, and I've watched this problem. Uh, it's not a new problem. 2014, it was probably almost as bad as it is today, and today it's, it's pretty bad. I think, uh, of course, just a little over 24 hours ago, we passed a major funding bill that the president had asked for, money that he needed for his agencies, and Department of Homeland Security, Department of Health and Human Services, to be able to continue this humanitarian relief on the border. I'm grateful that the Congress finally did get it together enough to get that bill passed, but it doesn't stop the problem. Uh, we'll be back into another appropriation cycle in just a few weeks, and clearly additional money is going to need to come this way. We need to give the president the money he needs with the flexibility that the men and women of the Customs and Border Patrol need in order to do this job and do it right.